Now, when I was here for a press conference, um, sea of unfamiliar faces sitting out there, and now you're all quite familiar. But I said at that time that one of the difficult things about joining a new community is getting all the names right, pronouncing them right, calling people by the right name. Mary Stepling, who's become one of my dearest friends, I promptly called by the wrong name in the beginning. I hope she doesn't remember that, but I do. <laughs> Uh, we had a little tutorial last night on the names of streets in Columbia. <laughs> UG and Gervais. And, <laughs> and one of the things I said at that press conference is that I will get those things wrong. I will pronounce things wrong. I will get your names wrong. But you have a get out of jail free card. Don't be afraid to correct the new president. Pretty soon after that, a faculty member came to my office and brought me these. It's two Monopoly get-out-of-jail-free cards. <laughs> They're a little bit faded because they've been on my desk for 11 years. And I am now going to hand them over a new get-out-of-jail-free. Please welcome Beth Dendorf as the 18th president of Columbia. I am so proud and humbled to succeed Dr. Caroline Witzman as the 18th president of Columbia College. And I thank you for this opportunity. I look forward to the enormous responsibility of leading such a wonderful institution and with its commitment to providing a challenging educational experience for all that walk through its doors. I praise the United Methodist Church for its undying commitment to higher education and its vision in founding Columbia College in 1854. 158 years later, the legacy of the college is stronger than ever, providing an academically challenging education and athletic and experiential learning opportunities never imagined in 1854 an education that transforms today's young women into tomorrow's leaders. I'm a graduate of an institution much like Columbia College. The College of St. Benedict is a nationally ranked private Catholic women's liberal arts college in Minnesota. And like many students here, I was a first generation student. I didn't understand at the time that attending a faith-based women's liberal arts college would affect the rest of my life so profoundly. It was truly a transformative experience without me ever realizing I was being transformed. And I applaud the leaders of the college who in the late 1970s expanded the college's mission to include the evening and graduate colleges, giving busy adults an opportunity to complete a bachelor's degree or obtain a master's. This mission is personally meaningful to me because it is how I earned my law degree, working during the day and going to school four nights a week. While I have not yet met everyone on campus and know I will definitely need these get out of jail free cards when I don't get the names right, I have to say that all the students that I have met, and all of them I'm sure, are bright, engaged, focused, and hardworking. And the faculty and administration are deeply committed and work tirelessly to transform the lives of the students. The love and commitment by all who work in service to this institution and its mission is evident. And the Board of Trustees and alums are equally committed as partners in the continued growth and success of the college and its students. I am so proud that Columbia College is a nationally recognized leader in the field of women's leadership. Through the Leadership Institute, it develops students and women of all ages in the community to be lifelong agents of innovation and change in their professions, their communities, and in the global society. Today, Columbia College educates students from 23 states and 20 different countries. I will work to extend the reach of Columbia College to more parts of the nation and more countries around the world so that Columbia College education becomes a reality for more young women. And the multicultural diversity on the campus embraces this cultural understanding 
and with more students we'll have even fuller cultural understanding and it allows all students to become more engaged, effective, and informed global citizens. I'm committed to strengthening, strengthening the partnerships with the community and technical colleges throughout the Midlands, such as the important partnership today with Midlands Technical College, and to enable more adult learners to achieve their goals of earning a bachelor's degree or master's from Columbia College. The college is so fortunate to be located in the great state of South Carolina and in its capital city. Columbia is the home to many world-class companies and community-based nonprofit organizations. And with support of Columbia, the mayor, the councilmen, and all members of the leadership, as well as the greater Midlands community, will seek to create more internship opportunities for Columbia College students so they can work, learn, and contribute in meaningful ways to government, business, and nonprofit organizations. And an important part of the college's mission is its commitment to service learning and social justice. I am proud that Columbia College is the home of the Alliance for Women and is working with colleges, universities, government agencies, nonprofit organizations, corporations, and individuals working together to create positive change in the lives of the citizens of South Carolina. And I'm deeply committed to continuing that very important work. Colleges today face rising costs and the challenge of preserving an educational experience that is both accessible and affordable. We'll be committed as an institution to find new and creative sources of income and to increase the endowment through the generous support of those that are committed to the mission of Columbia College. The results of this effort, I know, will allow more young women to have the transformational experience of a Columbia College education. I look forward to collaborating with all members of the college community and the leaders throughout South Carolina to create the best and brightest future for Columbia College. I know I have a lot to learn and a lot of people to meet. And with the help of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Whitson, the alumni, everyone at Columbia College, and the college's many friends and supporters, I will come up that learning curve as quickly as I can. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to lead and to serve Columbia College. Thank you.